Hi everyone, it's Daniel and it's my turn. Now, on a rainy day like this, who wouldn't like to have food delivered straight to their house without having to step a foot outside? Time magazine has just featured on its cover a Chinese delivery driver, Gao Jixiao, who has continued working throughout the entire outbreak. Now, it's comfortable to stay home and order Why Mai. I'm vegetarian, so I can find specific foods just for me on uh, Chinese delivery apps. Today we're asking our foreign friends what kind of Why Mai they like and what kind of food they're ordering here in Chengdu. All right, hello, can you tell us where you're from? I'm from Benin. Hello, I'm Maria, I'm from Venezuela, and I'm 25 years old. Hello, my name is Masha, I'm from Ukraine. My name is Melinda, I'm from the US. Um, I'm Jess, Liverpool in England. Say, when I want to take something to go, I just ask for a dabao. Why mai? Wonderful. No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we say... Dabao? Is it dabao? <laughs> That's all I know. Alright. I have a little bit of it. I feel hungry at night. So I need to order some barbecue. We all love eating at night. <laughs> Bad habit. Maybe one day I will feel lazy. I just want to order some food online. I will say maybe twice a week. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes if I'm just really tired and I don't want to cook, I will order through WeChat. Um, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, usually no, but sometimes, yeah, like 50-50. Barbecue, actually most of them are meat. The grey fish, cow yu. Sometimes dumplings, sometimes noodles. I like to get Mao Tai delivered a lot too. Uh, some noodles, uh, rice, Sichuan food and Western food, everything. Hot pot, I like uh, chuan chuan, also like uh, pom bao chicken and mapo tofu. I like to put spice in everything. <laughs> yeah. I will say the most uh, weird thing that my friends have ordered is rabbit head. That's oh. for me something very weird. You didn't try? <laughs> no, never. never. Okay, okay. But I think rabbits are very cute. <laughs> I don't want to eat rabbits. <laughs> All right, yeah, they are cute. But I know here is a very traditional food. Yeah, yeah I know. Frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. It's strange because foreigners don't usually eat frogs. Or... Yeah, but it's uh, uh, a little bit um, uh, hard to chew, I would say. Yeah, it's like a chewing gum, and it's like you chew, 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 and uh, and it's still there. <laughs> uh, well, some people don't think it's weird, but brain, I just could never eat brain. <laughs> Actually, we used to order directly from the restaurant. So it's the restaurant who operates that delivery services. It's not like a separate delivery service. Yeah. Back in the US, I pretty much ordered everything from Amazon. Oh. I didn't really get food delivery. In China, it's much more commonplace and easier to just get food, to get everything brought to your door. Yeah, in the US, people are just still used to driving around for everything. Um, yeah, so we have a website called Just Eat. In comparison to Meituan, it's worse. <laughs> um, it takes a lot more, a lot faster for the food to come. You're constantly phoning them, where is my food? <laughs> and they're like, it'll be 10 more minutes. They're very convenient. I will say uh, I'm impressed because it's very safe and it's very fast. And also you can track your food and see how long it will take to come to your home. So I think the Chinese services are very efficient. Yes, they use, but it's not that convenient because uh, it's going to take a much longer time, around two hours to deliver. Even if it's like the shop is just in front of your home. As foreigners, we come from different sides of the world and we have different tastes. But it seems like we can find pretty much anything available for us here in Chengdu. Thanks for the hard work of the delivery drivers, you can get pretty much any kind of food available at your door in a snap of fingers. This was Daniel and your turn. Bye-bye. See you next week.